Children family, children family, what's up, man? USCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, we have breaking news all over the place, man. Listen, we gotta talk about we gotta talk about these couple of recruits, but we're gonna get back at the end of this video. We're gonna talk about San Diego State forming pack with the Pac-12, and they getting ready to make this move to the Pac-12, man. Listen, this is unbelievable news, and listen, man. Oregon Ducks are really officially now about to be landing inside of the duck sauce, swimming in it, drowning in it, all the way in the duck sauce. But we're going to talk about that, and I'm going to tell you why. You guys look at my video yesterday as I talked about Dan Lennon have mutual interest with Auburn. Both of those guys, both of those, uh, Auburn and, and Dan Lennon both uh, have mutual interest. So listen, it could be something catastrophic. Now, this could be a real dagger in this whole thing. But look, let's talk about some of these recruits, Nico Harbor and Anthony Hill Jr. I want you guys to take a look at these guys, man. Anthony Hill Jr. just decommitted from uh, Texas A&M. Listen, do you guys remember, as uh, I brought it to you guys, when I start seeing Texas A&M getting ready to be lost in all the barbecue sauce, they were lost in all the sauce, and everybody, listen, I brought it to you. I said, man, the more they lose, the more they're going to start swimming in the duck sauce, the more they're going to start swimming in all the barbecue sauce, and now Texas A&M is officially drowning in all the sauce. And I'm going to tell you why, because they're losing games that they have no business losing, and it started with Appalachian State. Now you're starting to see these recruits. Anthony Hill Jr., the number one linebacker in the country, is now, uh, he's now parting ways, and we're going to take a look at him. He's now parting ways. Um, as of last night, as of yesterday, uh, with the University, uh, Texas A&M University. And we got some good news, some good comments coming from uh, Nico Harbor, number one athlete in the country, man. So, listen, let's take a look at this, man. And then we want to talk about at the end, we want to talk about San Diego State. <laughs> that is, listen, let's talk about San Diego State at the end of this. Look at uh, Nico Harbor and look at Anthony Hill Jr. Check this out. You see here, here's big Anthony Hill um, linebacker, 6'2", 225, and um, you'll come down here, you'll see he's he's a five-star, number one linebacker in the country, number three player in the state of Texas, and look, this is it right here. You see when he, uh, uh, with his predictions, uh, with, with the teams that, that he had on his list, at Alabama, Oklahoma, Texas, Texas A&M, USC, uh, but now that Texas A&M is com uh, that he's decommitted from Texas A&M, USC has a real opportunity here. He was one of the guys, like we said before, came on that June sixteenth visit, and uh, you know we think that we got a real opportunity here. You couple him with Nico Harbor, who we also have a real opportunity. Listen, I, I don't think USC's out of the mix by no means necessary. He spoke highly before of USC, and I, and I knew. Um, that he really enjoyed USC. But let's look. Let's just wait and see exactly what he decides to do. But USC has a real opportunity to grab this guy. He knows um, not only are we winning, you can come in and get some playing time. You put him along with, uh, of course, Eric Gentry. You put him along with Tackett Curtis. These guys, man, these guys can be a crazy dynamic dude. Braylon Shelby, Sam Green, all these guys that we got coming in. Um, so let's take a look at some of these plays. Here's what he actually put up on his Twitter, um, thanking the coach for um, allowing them and affording them the opportunity. He says, first, I would like to thank Texas A&M coach Santucci and staff for recruiting and developing a personal relationship with me and my family. Thank you to Texas A&M fans who have been a great support throughout my recruitment. After further difficult discussion with my family, I will be decommitting from Texas A&M and opening up my recruitment. So that's uh that's him right there, Anthony Hill. He's officially decommitted from the University of uh, uh, Texas A&M University. So look, man, let's uh believe that we're gonna get this guy. So here's the rankings of the top linebackers in the country, and as you see here, it's going to be Anthony Hill. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look because I want to show you guys something. Malik Bryant went to Miami. And then look, number nine, 
we is Tacky Curtis, four-star linebacker who we actually have uh, committed to USC now, which I think is an absolute crime. Tacky Curtis needs to be Tacky Curtis needs to be in the top five of linebackers. But guess what? Think about this. What if we get Anthony Hill? What if we get Anthony Hill and Tacky Curtis both? who are absolute monsters, man. You guys know, if you guys went to my YouTube, on my YouTube shorts, you guys will see Tackett Curtis just blowing somebody up when he was playing Arch Manning um, down there in Louisiana. Man, Tackett Curtis is a – Tackett Curtis is one of the most underrated – look, I'm putting Tackett Curtis right there with Anthony Hill. I, I mean, he's that good to me. Um, if you ever seen him play, he's explosive, he's good, he's physical. And uh, But look, what if we can get both? Listen, it's not out the question. Anthony Hill's right there. Tackett Curtis is right there. And um, listen, man, it's go time. It's real deal go time. And these are two quality players that USC can have both on their staff. Oh, excuse me, on their roster. This is uh, Nico Harbor as well. Nico Harbor, man, I tell you. now. So we got, we got um, Anthony Hill, the number one linebacker in the country. Then this guy here is the number one athlete in the country. Let me tell you why he's the number one athlete at 6'5", 220 pounds. The guy runs in the four, 100 meters a 10-2. You heard me right. <laughs> the guy runs a 10-2 in the 100 meters. They got him listed as an edge, but my God. Coaches are probably thinking uh, tight end, safety, Taylor Mays looking guy. I mean, you know, we know he's coming off the edge, but, man, I'm telling you, you running that fast, there's no way you running that fast and they want to just keep you at edge. But I think he's going to, you know, I don't know what position he's going to play. That's why they got him listed as an athlete, 6'5", 225 pounds. He runs a 10-2 in the 100 meters. In the 200 meters, he runs a uh, – he runs a, uh, I think, a 20 flat. Man, something ridiculous. You see here, um, he's listed as a five-star, number one athlete in the country, number one athlete in uh, D.C., Maryland area. And look, he's from that area. And look, Washington, D.C. Now, we, we got Sam Green coming in from that area. We got Caleb Williams. We got Jordan Addison. We have a Washington, D.C. pipeline that's on and popping and on and cracking right now. So listen, man, Nico Harbor, he made some telling statements, some telling comments um, in relation to, uh, in reference to, uh, you know, his last visits because he's taking his time and he has five more visits. But here, here's what he said. He said USC is definitely in the mix. But let me give you uh, exactly what he says. He said USC will most likely be that one, talking about his last trips. He said they're definitely in the mix. Uh, Harbor said, he said, I narrowed my list down to five schools. He said, they're in the mix. He said, it's great weather. It's California. Um, he says, California is a major market to be in. He understands that. He says, that's where the stars go. He says, if you want to be a star, he says, you go to California. So look, this is Nico Harbor. This is not USCJ comments. This is Nico Harbor comments. He's saying that the number one athlete in the country is saying, look, if you want to be a star, you go to California. You go to L.A. So look, man, you guys hit me in the comment section. What do you guys think about Big Nico? And, check, and, uh, and, and you know, so it, it's, a, it's a real opportunity here um, for USC for two big-time guys, two big-time guys. Now, we got to get on this San Diego State thing because, they, they listen, listen, the Pac-12 is essentially flustered right now. All right, so so here it is right here. What you guys think about Nico Harbor and big Anthony Hill? Uh, listen, those are two big gits, man. I think USC has a real opportunity here. But let's get into this. The Pac-12, listen, it's time to call the Pac-12 now. It's, it looks like they're getting ready to merge with a couple of teams. I guess they're going to replace USC, and I guess they're going to replace UCLA. So the first team is going to be San Diego State. Somebody hit me on the comments, uh, actually in my inbox yesterday, and they said, uh, what did they say? The Mountain West. They said it's going to be the pack, the, the, the Mountain Pack now. I think it's officially going to be the Mountain Pack Conference. Um, listen, they got San Diego State now getting ready to replace USC and UCLA. Um, and I guess they're going to, they may go ahead and pull San Jose State. Uh, listen, I did a video yesterday with Dan Lennon. Listen, Dan Lennon gets the news of this. Listen, Dan Lennon is out of here, man. I told you guys yesterday uh, with the video that Dan Lennon has uh, it's a mutual interest between Auburn and uh, and Dan Lennon, the Oregon coach. Listen, when Dan Lennon gets the news of this, he is officially 
out of there. Do you hear what I'm saying? Listen, he understands now that Oregon may possibly be real lost in the duck sauce. And everybody now is starting to see that with this Mountain West and the pack, the Mountain Pack getting ready to form conferences. Let's look at this. It says San Diego State. Check this out. It says San Diego State is expected to lead the Mountain West Conference and join the uh, Pac-12 Conference. Um, on his national show on Monday, Dan Patrick said uh, he told, he's been told an announcement could be as early as this week. San Diego State is uh, is not ready to make it official yet. Uh, but listen, it, it appears that the Pac-12 and the Mountain West the Mountain Pack Conference is now, I guess that's what they're going to name it, the Mountain West Conference. And listen, man, this is incredible. And this is unbelievable to me. I, I, <laughs> I can't even, I don't even know. Listen, I, I don't even, this is, I, I'm really, I'm kind of speechless, to be honest with you, about this. This is really a surprise. Uh, uh, I thought, if anything, I thought some of those schools would go, you know, like Oregon or, uh, or Washington. Now, Washington still may be, Stanford still may be, and Cal still may be, um, uh, even Oregon. I'm not sure. They may still be in, in place for the Big 12 expansion, but if not, it appears that the Pac-12 is trying to save their conference and is trying to add, excuse me, trying to add a couple of teams to replace UCLA and USC. I guess they think they can compete with the Big 12 like that. But listen, if you think you can compete with the Big 12, because look, they added Central Florida. They added Houston. They've added uh, BYU. And they've added uh, one more team, Houston. Did I say that right? Houston, Central Florida, BYU, and uh, and somebody else. I, I think I got them all mixed up. But I, I know that they added, those, they added four teams. So I guess the Pac-12 is trying to keep up with that. And, and you know, we'll see how this works out, man. You guys hit me in the in the comment section. You guys let me know what you think, man. Listen, two big time recruits, man. Anthony Hill Jr. back in the market, back in play for USC. Nico Harbor says that, listen, USC's definitely in the mix as far as one of my last trips, man. So listen, you guys hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. Listen, everybody that comes on, I need you guys to like, share, subscribe. USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Until then, listen, fight on, fight on, fight on.